Hello and welcome to a short session about you developers. My name is Peter Ring and I'm a programmer writer embedded in the Milestone team that develops the MIP SDK. If you are like most developers, you like to dig in and get your hands dirty without further ado and you pride yourself of figuring out most of the problems by yourself. But you know, we might all need some inspiration, a helping hand, an additional pair of eyes on a tricky problem. And even if you're an old hand at MIP development, you might discover new support and learning resources. If you don't remember anything else from this session, this is what I'd like you to remember. Milestone supports developers whether you are completely new or a long time Milestone technology partner. You get connected with peer fellow developers on the Milestone developer forum and Milestone offers a wide range of support and learning resources. So go look for them. But first, let's have a look at the developer journey. My colleagues Jasleen Rihal and Timothy Long created this developer journey map a few years ago. It's based on interviews with a number of developers from companies including independent developers as well as integrators, resellers and technology partners. They noticed that new developers tended to put off becoming technology partners until they were close to the first version 1 release of their first solution. I'd like to point out that even though a lot of MIP developer resources are available without any registration, you can take it to the next level. First, when you create a My Milestone account and next, when you become a Milestone technology partner. Let's have a look at the levels of developer support. Essentially, all parts of the MIP SDK are freely available without any registration. So why would you want to get a My Milestone account or even become a Milestone technology partner? With a My Milestone account, you can ask questions in support community and developer forum. And this is actually the preferred support option, unless the issue at hand involves business secrets, confidential customer information, or uploading files. Also, you get access to Milestone Learning. The e-learning courses are by far the fastest and easiest way to get familiar with Expertech VMS and to get started with MIP solutions. We'll get back to Milestone Learning in a bit. Let's have a look at the major support and learning hubs. Some of these pages provide overview and links to relevant resources, while others are where the action is at. I'll go to the main support page now. The main support page provides links to more support, reference and learning resources than most developers would care for. So let's go to some more dedicated resources. There is a support community. This is where you go for questions related to Expertech products, configuration and so on. If you ask these questions in the develop form, you will be kindly referred to this form. The develop form is where I hope you will spend some time. Um, you can use this as a hub to find other resources and you can find articles and follow discussions about a lot of things. I'll get back to that in a moment. But first I'd like to talk about the milestone um, technology partner program. It has five tracks dedicated uh, each to a group of technologies. As a technology partner, you can choose to be part of one, of one or more tracks depending on your offerings. And each track has a separate poll that has the most relevant resources. When you become a technology partner, you can access your portal through um, a dedicated My Milestone page. Let's get back to the Milestone Developer Forum. Whenever you have a question, start by searching. Let's search for H265. Maybe you have a, a problem connecting and getting a stream. And well, there you go. Lots of articles and discussions about that issue. So whenever you have a question, begin here. You're very welcome to uh, write questions and also answer other developers' questions. Now let's have a look at learning resources. There's a large catalog of learning resources dedicated to the Expertech product itself, but also a developer track. Let's have a look at the developer track. Um, it's composed of a number of courses. Some of them are shared with other tracks, um, learning about Expertech, and some of them are dedicated to developers, like getting started with the MIP SDK. This is by far the best way to get introduced quickly to the MIP SDK. 
Um, I'd like to emphasize, point to the MIP SDK getting started guide. Uh, it looks a bit cramped here. Sorry. It's a PDF, as you see. Um, that means you can share it with your boss if, or other people that need to know what you're messing around with. And then, of course, we have a few landing pages dedicated to the MIP SDK. This is the old one. So go here for an overview of MIP SDK dedicated resources. And we have a new one with a different take, uh, focusing more on the APIs and the online resources. And last but not least, the MIP SDK documentation. I think you will spend a lot of time here studying samples and introductions. Um, there's a new API site we are just putting up right now uh, for the new uh, RESTful API. Currently it's only the configuration API, but um, I encourage you to get, get going and try investigating this. So that was all for now. Thank you.